Good morning, church family. My name is Adam Hankerson. I get the joy and privilege of doing family ministries at Mission Hills Church. Today I'll be hosting our prayer time together. First thing we'll do is collect the week, this phrase paragraph that we've been reading every morning. Then we're going to read from Psalm 65. If you want to turn there now, we'll read verses 9 through 13. Then we'll offer prayers together for the world and for the church. And then we will recite the Lord's Prayer together. Let's pray. O most mighty and merciful God, in this time of great sickness, we flee to you for comfort. Deliver us, we ask, from our peril. Give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure. And grant that perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto the heavenly wisdom which leads to eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, Psalm 65, verses 9 through 13. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide their grain, for so you have prepared it. You water its furrows abundantly, settling its ridges, softening it with showers, and blessing its growth. You crown the year with your bounty. Your wagon stacks overflow with abundance. The pastures of the wilderness overflow, and the hills gird themselves with joy. The meadows clothe themselves with flocks. The valleys deck themselves with grain. They shout and sing together for joy. Now we're going to offer prayers together for the world and for the church. As Spain, and Spain has surpassed death rates of China, as Italy is deeply in it as it is in Africa now, and as our own country is wrestling with how to care for people who are getting sick, we're going to go to our greatest asset, which is prayer. So let's pray for them. Oh, Heavenly Father, how deeply and constantly we need you. Lord, we know that you are good, that you are Father and Creator, Sustainer and Redeemer, we cling to those truths today as our future is uncertain. We pray for those who are recovering in China and mourning. Pray for those who are in Italy and making hard decisions on who will live. We pray for Spain and Africa. God, we lift up our own country as New York is struggling deeply. We do not know what the future holds, God, but you do. You are the author and perfecter of our faith. So Lord, we pray that you would help our faith in this time, that we would be beacons of hope and light and salt as we see our neighbors, as we parouse the internet, as we post, as we connect, as we video chat. All these ways that we are connecting, Lord, I ask that you would bless with your truth, with your gospel, because that is truly where salvation is. We pray that you're with our governing leaders. We pray that you are with our neighbors. We pray that you are with the scientists searching for a cure. May they find the cure of their own sickness in you. We thank you, God, for the common grace of the things that you've given us. May you bless us and keep us in this time. We need you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now let's recite the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who is in heaven, holy is your name. May your kingdom come, may your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
Well, thank you for joining us, church family. As always, please let us know your prayer requests as we're not meeting in person, so we're not getting the cards. But if you send a comment, uh, if you're able to put it in right now, we would love to hear that from you because we would love to pray for you. And I ask that you would pray for us as well as we navigate this time. May the Lord bless us and keep us. We love you.